Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Aujanya. I am working as an integration developer in Techie Geek Hub Software Solutions. Uh, today we will discuss about the Salesforce Platform Events Connector. In this uh, session, we will learn what is Salesforce Platform Event Connector and why we need it. What are the advantages of this connector over the standard Salesforce Connector and how to configure the connection component and the operation component and how can we implement the process by using this connector. Uh, coming to this connector, Salesforce Platform Event Connector helps us to configure the integrations between the Salesforce Platform Events and the connected business applications. Salesforce Platform Events is a feature in the Salesforce Enterprise Messaging Platform and helps the organization run faster and more efficiently through event-driven business process. This connector passively listens for the events that are published through platform events and also listens for the events from connected applications to pla update the platform events and trigger actions. This listening provides the real-time connectivity and more immediacy in business process. As we know, in order to configure any connector in Boomi, we have to configure the two important components that is one is a connection component and the other is the operation component. So coming to this connection component of Salesforce platform events, this connection uses a OAuth 2.0 protocol uh, for authentication and the authorization. So this connector has two actions, uh, one is listen and the other is send. But before creating the connection component, we have to create the connected app in the Salesforce in order to get the client ID and client secret. Now we will see how to create the connected app in our Salesforce platform. So once after logging into this Salesforce platform, uh, navigate under the setup. And here, uh, go into the app manager. Here we can see the new connector app. Uh, click on the new connector app and give the connector app name. And also the email. And uh, Enable auth settings, and here we have to provide the Boomi callback URL. So, this is the callback URL that we can get from the Boomi documentation. So, replace this account. Uh, here we have to replace our account ID. And then uh, we have to provide the uh, access, select the full access. And then we have to enable the client credentials flow and also the authorization code flow. Now click on save. Continue. Uh, we can see our app got created. So now click on the manage consumer details. So a verification code will be sent to your email ID. Copy and paste that verification code and click on verify. So we can see here we got the consumer key and the consumer secret. Copy and paste it because we will be using this uh, while configuring the connection component. Uh, now we have to configure the change data capture. In order to configure that, first navigate under the setup. And then uh, here search for the change data capture. Here we can see the change data capture. 
So this is the place where we add all the objects, like whether it can be a standard object or a custom object. So if we do any uh, changes in these particular objects, the listener process will listen to these events and the integration will take place. So here I have added these three objects, account, contact and opportunity. So just click on save. Now we will log into the Boomi platform and uh, configure the Salesforce platform event connector and we'll also develop a process which listen to these uh, events in the Salesforce. So we uh, create a new process and uh, select as connector type. And here choose the Salesforce platform events. And here click on the connection. Here we can see the O 2.0. Here we have to give our client ID and client secret, which we got from the connector app. Here, choose the connection. Here, select as new events. Now, click on a uh, generate option. Uh, we can see the token got generated successfully just click on save and close and uh, now we have to create the operation component so click on import operation and uh, here choose your runtime engine and here select your connection component and the chain data capture and click on next here we can select whether we want to capture uh, the chain data for all the events or any specific object. So here I'm choosing all chain events. Click on next. Click on finish. Uh, save and close the component. And uh, attach a return document shape. So as it is a listener process, uh, we have to deploy this process into an environment. Now we will create the packaged component for this process. And deploy this process to your environment. So here we can see our deployment got successful. Now we will uh, log into the Salesforce platform and uh, we create a new account object. So here just click on new. Uh, give a account name. fill some uh, details and click on save. So here we can see the account was created. Now go back to the Boomi and uh, open the process reporting. Here our listener process got executed. So open the document. can see the account entity name is account and the change type is create and the name of that account is demo account.
So this is how the Salesforce platform events connector will listen to the events that are uh, happening in the Salesforce. Now we will try to do uh, changes in the object which we have created just now. So try to change this name and click on save. Now go back to the Boomi and uh, replace the process reporting page. Here we can see the process got triggered and open the return document. So here we can see the entity name as account and the changed IPs update. And here we can also see what are the fields that got changed. And we change the name to demo. So this is how the Salesforce platform events connector will listen to the changes that are happening in the Salesforce. The advantages of this connector, it provides a real-time connectivity and it also helps us to develop the integrations which will synchronize the data from Salesforce application to any other end system in real-time approach. Thank you.